Welcome to the 2012-2013 school year. My name is Emily Barton. I'm the Assistant Commissioner for Curriculum and Instruction for the Tennessee Department of Education. And we are very pleased to be presenting this video for parents. This year, across Tennessee, we will begin implementing Common Core State Standards. And we've invited a number of educators who are advising us on this transition to share some thoughts with parents about what this transition will mean and what you can expect to see across this coming school year. The PowerPoint we share here and this video will be available on our website at www.tencore.org. Hello, my name is Shara Hess and I'm the assistant principal at Isaac Wooden Middle School for the Metropolitan Nashville Public School District. My name is Jared Meyerkel. I'm the supervisor of instruction for grades 9 through 12 in the Gibson County Special School District. I'm Tammy Shelton. I'm the supervisor of instruction for pre-K through 12th grade in the Lincoln County School System. As a part of the transition to Common Core, the Tennessee Department of Education has sought input from educators across the state in order to plan ways that can make this transition the most successful it can be. Since January, Tammy and I have served on the Common Core Leadership Council and have planned alongside members of the Department of Education ways that we could best train our teachers and facilitate this transition to the new standards. And I have served as a Principal Core Coach, training principals across the state on implementing Common Core. We are very excited today to talk with parents and community members about Common Core state standards. This year, Tennessee joins 45 other states in the implementation of the Common Core State Standards. This is an exciting time in Tennessee because the Common Core Standards incorporate college and career readiness skills that students will need in order to be successful as they move on through college or into the career of their choice. Along with this transition comes the opportunity for educators in Tennessee to collaborate across state lines to ensure that the education received by a child in Tennessee is just as rigorous as an education that would be received anywhere else. As a part of this transition, the state is modifying two tests that are currently being used in order to familiarize students with a new format of the assessment and to give feedback on their readiness for the park assessment and our progress around the instruction for the Common Core State Standards. On the park assessment, students will be required to write essays and explain their thinking. These are skills that we know students will need to be college and career ready. This year, students in third through eighth grade will take a new version of the Constructed Response Assessment. This assessment will be in math only. The administration of the Constructed Response Assessment will be in October, February, and officially in May. This exam will focus specifically in third grade on multiplication and division. Fourth and fifth grade will focus on fractions. 6th and 7th grade will focus on ratios and proportions, and 8th grade will focus on functions and linear equations. It will focus on these skills because these are the areas that students struggle with most, and also these are areas that students need for later success in mathematics. The constructive response assessment will have four problems and students will be required to write out their explanations of their answers. Parents will receive the student responses of the exam and also the student's final scores. To prepare teachers and students for the next generation park assessments, three days of training were held in which 13,000 teachers engaged in content. In order to prepare the students for these next generation assessments, you will see three key shifts in instruction and mathematics this year. You will see fewer, more challenging problems in which students will be required to go deeper into thought. Students will be expected to solve problems in multiple ways, making sure that it's not just one clear way to answer a question. Just answering a question alone is not enough. Students should be able to critically think about the content. Students will be required to explain their answers by using pictures, diagrams, and sentences. Students will be expected to master math facts in what is called fluency standards. The chart is also available on our website. The chart summarizes the basic skills students need to know by memory at each grade. 
In order to build in time for this deeper instruction, the TCAP assessment this year will be narrowed. Several topics will be dropped in mathematics. You can find a list of these dropped topics at the 10 Core website. Although several districts are piloting English Language Arts Common Core State Standards, there will be no change to the English Language Arts portion of the TCAP assessment this year. However, there will be changes to the writing assessment. The writing assessment administered in the 5th, 8th, and 11th grades will undergo significant changes this year. In the past, students wrote to prompts such as describing an experience on a magic carpet ride or describing what it would be like to live under the sea. Quite frankly, these prompts did not require students to think critically and to read text analytically. The Common Core State Standards require both of these things, and as such, this year students will have to write with evidence based from text and to read those texts in much more analytic fashions than they did in years past. Sample prompts for the new writing assessment will be available on the 10 Core website in late September. Parents play a vital role in their child's education. Ensuring that all Tennessee students are successful is a shared responsibility between teachers, administrators, parents, and the community. There are several things that parents can do to assist us in this transition. When your child is at home, engage with them in content. If you need to get out things from the kitchen or other manipulatives to help them visualize the problem, that would help a lot. I know with my own kids at home, I plan on doing just that, pulling out manipulatives from the house to help explain their homework that they're working on. Another thing that I plan to do with my own kids at home is to ask them to explain to me how they actually got that answer on the math problem. Um, another thing with my own kids at home is I would like for them to be able to talk to me out loud about what they're thinking. So if, if my kids can just say, yeah, mom, I was thinking about this, 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 and this as I got that answer. Um, so definitely, they seem like great ideas and definitely want my own kids at home to be able to explain to me the thought process that they are going through as they get their answers on their math problems. In order for the transition to the standards to be as effective as it can be, it's imperative that parents understand what is happening on the assessment what is happening with regards to changes in classroom instruction and what they should expect with regards to the homework that comes home. And in order to familiarize the parents in Gibson County with that process, one resource we've directed them towards is the grade level guides developed by the National Parent Teacher Association that really breaks down the skills that are addressed on each grade level and also guides for conversations that you can have with your child and with your child's teacher about the content that is being covered in their classroom. Earning a living wage has never required more skill. And we want to make sure that every child is equipped with the knowledge and skill to be able to compete and to be successful in college and career. We know that is every parent's wish for their children and that is the aspiration of our work at the department. Throughout the coming years, as we prepare for the full implementation of Common Core, and the PARC exam, we are committed to quality and consistent communication. And the website, tencore.org, will be the primary vehicle for sharing changes to assessment and for sharing resources that can support student success. Together, we know we can see the day when every child in Tennessee is able to meet the expectation of these standards. And we look forward to working together for that day. Thank you very much.